only get one life unless you're a local 25-year-old who says he is on his fourth. Davidson Tendry has the story. Rain has kept games away from the softball diamond today, but whether or not Landon Whitley is able to toss the ball, this is where he feels closest to his late father. And it felt like every time I was there on the field, even though I couldn't see him physically, it felt like inside of me he was there. In 1997, all was well. Landon and his parents were driving home from church when they were T-boned at a Mint Hill intersection. Landon lost his father that day. His mother was severely hurt, but survived. I didn't understand where God was at to allow the tragedy. Landon's father was driving the vehicle. His seat flew back, crushing Landon in the back seat. Initially, medics couldn't even tell there was a child in the car. But one of the workers found a child's shoe. And when they found his shoe, they started looking for the body that matched. Three times that day, Landon died, flatlined. Paramedics worked to save him. He says each time he went to heaven where he was with Jesus, angels, his father, and two siblings he had never known existed. Um, my mom had two miscarriages before me that I had never known about, never heard about. I was able to see them. Landon says his trip to heaven was a short one. He says Jesus told him it wasn't his time. So back to earth where it took time for Landon's injuries to mend. I got 23 metal plates in my head. Uh, my nose was reconstructed out of the back part of my skull, and I can't see out of my left eye, or better yet, it's all blurry. His mother, Julie, her scars are more emotional, and to cope, she wrote a book detailing the family's healing process over the years. These days, I can thank God for giving me the strength to get through it. I didn't see the strength when I was going through all that. I saw the challenges and the hurt. Okay, so right now we're driving up to the intersection where Landon's accident happened. And uh, Land Landon, just tell me, you know, what goes through your mind when you approach this scene? Um, I pass by here almost every day. And of course it sparks back memories from the past. But at the same time, it's just became part of my normal everyday life of going through here. Landon is even to the point where he can make light of his situation. Someone could say, Landon, you and I are about to have a come to Jesus talk. I was like, well, I've already came to him three times. Now in his mid-20s, baseball is replaced with softball, and he proudly wears the number his dad once gave him. And to get more information on this story or watch it again, head to our Facebook page, Fox 46 Carolinas. Rob?